in the house. Should be in. How high is that anyway? Don't seem like I'm in. All right, well, we'll lean back like this. We'll see what's going on. It's your boy Obzi here. You know what day it is. You know, just watching this thing from the BACK seemed just a little bit different. But I want to make sure I get that full effect. You know, I need to go and get my other phone, charge it up, make sure that I'm in the frame, make sure that everything is going smoothly. Today is Sunday. Planning on Sundays. I tell you what, what I did yesterday, um, just so you know, cat died last night. So when I got home from work, uh, my daughter said, hey, the cat been acting funny. We need to go ahead and she ran off somewhere. We don't know where she went to. So while we sitting up there, um, we heard this loud kind of roaring meow, you know, from Halloween or something like that. So we took off. My daughter, I said, go look downstairs, see if she's down there. Say she's not, maybe she's stuck in one of the rooms. No, she's not in one of the rooms. They say she ran off somewhere, we don't know where she went. Came downstairs, of course. She was laid out and uh, wasn't moving, breathing kind of funny, but, but breathing though. Looked like she was dead, but she was breathing. So my daughter was like, what should we do? So we loaded her up. Ran off to the vet. Vet said we need to run a bunch of tests, keep her, keep her for a couple of days. It's going to cost some money. Say no problem. Go ahead and do it. But guess what? I knew I was going to do that anyway, right? Because remember the last cat we had, he just kind of passed out, wasn't breathing, kind of died on the spot. They wanted to do x-rays and take and do a, um, what do they call it? Uh, like an autopsy or something like that trying to figure out what's going on, but we didn't. So this time we did, it was no brainer. But anyway, so today, since it is planning, I did write in my planner of what some things I want to accomplish this week. And one of the things I wanted to accomplish this week was to print out the greatest salesman in the world, 10 scrolls, greatest salesman in part two, 10 more scrolls. And also uh, look at my plan for the rest of the year, in my 411. I got one for work, but I want to have a plan for home. So we did a lot of work outside, cleaning the yard up, and my wife says she still want to get a shed. So I say that's a good spot for a shed over there. But we're going to do a lot of tidying up, cleaning up, getting rid of some old stuff, and stop buying new stuff. You know, we can stop stuff coming in. Then it, and then we don't spend a lot of time sorting stuff out. I think I waste a lot of time rearranging stuff, sorting stuff, stacking stuff, you know, and uh, when I should just be trying to get minimal, you know, just trying to get minimal as possible, you know, like all the stuff back here. I got this stuff kind of down, but some of the stuff you say, man, in the back of my mind, I said, man, you know, you can go ahead and sell that. That could be going somewhere else. So I'm still holding on to that dream, right? Still holding on to that dream just a little bit. But we had an excellent day. Another thing that happened too uh, that was pretty good because I told you that it's like day six, day seven of a low carb diet, you know? So I don't eat a lot of carbs anyway. The only thing I do is just cut out cakes, you know? All I eat is cupcakes. And make cakes i make cakes too so long as i cut those out then i don't eat a lot of carbs because i don't eat a lot of bread i don't eat a lot of stuff so yesterday while i was at the vet you know i came home i was going to prepare me a salad and uh i had to run off to the vet so i didn't eat my dog said hey look it's 10 o'clock do you want me bring you something to eat and i say nah you know what it's 10 o'clock no big deal you know because i had already made it over the hump and I was just finding out that a lot of times we don't even be hungry. You know, we just be eating because it's dinner time. Because when I get home, everybody else is eating. But I, me and my wife was talking today. We just stay busy. And that's the bit. That's the deal. So I had did the 411 for the house. Because I'm so busy working. I said I was supposed to take that last hour of work and then focus on the 411 for the house so that when I get home, I don't do mindless snacking. I don't do laying around that I'm actually on a, on a plan. 
I keep reaching back here because it's these stitches back here starting to itch. So that's a good sign, right? That's a good sign of healing. So that's why I keep reaching back there. But I want to get that plan done. So what happened was I didn't eat last night. So, you know, got kind of hungry around about 11 or 12. I said, you know what? I'm finna go to sleep. No big deal. So I went to sleep, woke up. So, But when I woke up, right, had my glass of water, it was business as usual. Because now it's like it got reset some kind of way. And now, next thing I know, man, I didn't eat for 24 hours. So I said, hmm, why don't I do that on planning Sunday since I'm off that day? From, from 3 o'clock on Saturday to 3 o'clock on Sunday, don't eat anything. Just a little weekly fast. I think I may do that. I think I, think I may do that. We're going to see if we can keep that up, right? But if I don't, no big deal. But I think I... We'll just say an extended period of time. Maybe it ain't 24 hours, it may be 20 hours. You know, up from my 16, go up to 20 hours of fasting. But I did do 24 today, and then I ate for four hours. But I didn't go all overboard. Most I probably had is probably a, a small handful of chips to go with my salad. I fixed my monster salad uh, with a little olive oil on it. And then um, after that, I had some broccoli, and I had some squash, and I had some collard greens. So I just ate vegetables. You know, I had been missing those cooked vegetables because I've been eating salads and wraps every day, which I'm going to start back on tomorrow. Hey, don't let me forget to get that turkey out of there. Back to the plan, though. I was talking to a young part of me, like I said, you know, just this. We're not using, even myself, not using the full power of Google. Still too many distractions. There's still too many. And the reason is because I, I'm, I'm still saying yes to all these things. I'm still in a yes world, but I'm trying to go for no. I need to be in a no world. I need to be saying no. No is a perfectly good answer. I need to be saying no to other things. And the reason it's hard for me to say no to other things because I hadn't taken the time to say yes to one thing. And that's that 411 plan for the family. Hmm. 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 Hadn't got back on my exercising yet. Because on this low carb, man, I may not, you know what? My best ain't always going to be because it's going to be as far as with carbs and without carbs. Because I know when I've got carbs, my energy is like through the roof, you know. But when I'm on the low carb, I didn't got over into this area where they say, "Oh yeah, man, yeah, you're gonna be uh living a life. You're gonna be, you know, I did the ketosis stuff. You know, I may be in ketosis now, but it don't matter. Cause we just gonna make it a lifestyle, keep it low. I said I'm gonna keep it low until Thanksgiving is what I said, but I got my 66 day challenge. You know, and I'm just thinking this is going to be 30 some days, so I know I'm going to mess that challenge up. But I can throw myself in a mulligan. Yeah, I heard that on the one thing that you can have a mulligan. Well, the guy said you can have a cheat day. So out of my 66 days, I have a cheat day. Not that I'm off the program. I just going to have a cheat day. It's already scheduled in. Thanksgiving, I'm going to smash. I'm, going, mm, mm. I'm thinking about putting another cheat day in tomorrow, hitting that Cold Stone Creamery. I ain't had no Cold Stone, man, in probably two months. It's been probably two months. If I got to run this vehicle out to uh, this client, which passes me right by the Cold Stone, I may have to do the Cold Stone. You see what I'm saying? I may have to do the Cold Stone. So, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. So that's what I'm going to wrestle with tonight, right? That's what I'm wrestling with tonight. But also what I put on my plan was, um, you know, just doing the 411 at work, staying in my time block. I've been staying in my time block and trying to take care of what's in my time block and not sitting up front. And, you know, it's one of the fine lines. You know what I'm saying? Do I keep catching? But yet I don't want to neglect the house, the people that's depending on me. 
it's like one of these things, you know, I had to kind of catch myself, man, my wife kind of first got married, you know, we go out to situations and stuff like that, I'm so used to entertaining the guests that when my wife's there, sometimes my wife, it becomes the butt of the joke, or I'm not paying her enough attention, or I'm not giving her my full attention, even in those settings, because I felt that I was supposed to be entertaining these guests. But now at this point, I know she is the only guest. No matter where we're going, and she released me and said, hey, go take care of them or something like that. Whatever we could do to make her happy and her have more fun if it means me entertaining these guests, then that's what I do. So you see what I'm saying? So I did make a cross, bury the cat, and, and the whole nine yards, we had a little ceremony. You know, so I did that just like I did with the first cat, you know, so we buried two cats in the same same spot and you know, it's different, you know. It's things we gotta think about, things we gotta consider, preparation we gotta do. So, let's end alone. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work this plan. I'm gonna go up here and get me some sleep because I ain't getting enough sleep yesterday. I'm gonna get prepared for tomorrow. Tomorrow gonna be fantastic. And then we're going to see if we can just pour into some more lives, just put, find more people and more ways to pour into people. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. You know what I'm going to do? So what you going to do? I'm going to do it to it. You got to do it to it too. I'm going to do it to my life. You got to do it to your life. So do it to it. Peace out. I'm out of here, man. Whoa. Let's jump back across this thing here. Yeah. Pretty soon this garage is going to be clean. Bye.